this is Karen. I hope you're all doing well. Um, today's video, I actually am going to start my diamond painting, my very first diamond painting. If you saw my previous video, um, I was contacted by Victoria's Moon, and that is a diamond painting company based in the UK. And they said I could pick out um, a, pic a painting and then give my review, my honest feedback and review. So that's what I'm doing now. This is my very first painting. So, okay, so I'm ready from to begin. <laughs> and I have right here my, my pen, this bag of the uh, drills, I was calling them gems, drills, the holder and the wax. So from what I'm seeing, it's best to work on a little section because this your canvas is very, it's a, you know, adhesive it's, and you don't want to reveal it or have things drop on it and such. So from what I see, it's best to work from the bottom, then cover that and go to another section. Now my, I'll insert the picture that I've chosen. It's a beautiful like blush pink rose picture, but, um, as you can see from here, and I did use, I blew this up so I could see it well. This right here, the border is mostly, as you can see, it's gonna be dark, you know, and then as we get into the details, the flower, it will get, you know, lighter. So I'm going to start basically, there's a lot of, well, the symbols that's on the side, it's 25 drills, but there are a lot of, number it's number 15 in the pack so that's what i'm going to work on now so i peel, i already pulled that out and then it should be just a matter of sticking it and to the the wax and then gluing it now these are the square drills okay so i'll Pour a little bit. Well, not. I know I don't need a lot. Pour. Oops. I hope that's not. Well, trial and error, right? Okay. So I know. Shake to the side, to the bottom, to try and get those lined up. So I put some in here, and I'm going to now just dip the needle. Well, the pen because it just, can just expose one area of the wax and just press it in. And for what I see, it fills it up pretty much. Okay, you can see that is in there. Okay. All right, and then that's it. I'm gonna keep this here. Let's see, I think that's a good side. I know this is, it's very dark, so you can, probably can't see the symbols where I'm gonna be going, but I'm just looking basically for heart-shaped symbols because, yeah, that's, basically what I'm doing. Okay, so here we go. I know that there are Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I got my first drill here. Let me see like, the first heart is right here. Okay, that seemed easy enough. Yep. 
yeah i don't know if well i'll hold it up when i'm done but let me see Okay. I'm moving a lot slower than I've seen other people because this is my first time doing this. So I'm like, okay, this, I have to be precise and make sure that it goes into the right box, which it's fine, it is. Um, I did see with the round people, you know, you could choose round, but I did read that um, the rounds are, are pretty also, but sometimes um, with the square, it leaves less of a, a um, you don't see like any of the canvas. So that's why I decided to go with the, um, the square. Okay, see, this isn't, that is not in the right. Now, what I am going, I'll show you how easy it is though. It lifts, okay. It lifts up really good with the tweezers. So that's no problem if you make a mistake. What I did do also though is I have a, um, a light pad coming. I think, I believe the light pad will help a lot. The boxes are very, um, well, yeah, they're small. Okay, so, like I said, I'm just right now, I just wanted to begin and this is a 40 by 40. Um, I'm glad I didn't get a larger one because I'd probably be here for like, um, <laughs> it would take me a long time until I get used to this. It's a nice size though. It's not like huge, like the, they have some 60 by 60. Or even larger, I guess. Okay, so to place. And I won't be doing, well, of course, I'll be working on this off camera also. But let me see. I don't know. I'm trying to see. You can, okay, there it is. You can see some of it. And after I finish this section, then I'll just, you know, I'll cover it up. And um, so nothing will disturb it. Yeah, any of you diamond painters out there? Do you have any tips, tricks for a newbie? Just let me know. Because, you know, this is the first my first time doing this. I don't want to. Um, I think it's going to be very pretty though. And when I finish and like I said in my video, if you haven't seen the unboxing video that I had wanted to try this for a while 
but I do do coloring and that in itself is like, that's very addicting. But I do like, I've always liked um, art, drawing, you know, creative things. And it is relaxing. You know, I'm sure once you get a hang of, hang of this, this is, you know, it's going to be, it's like goes by very quickly. Unlike me right now. Yeah, there are so yeah, that's what I'm going to work on. Um basically this section. Okay, so you can kind of see the glitter, the glisten. Um yeah, so I just wanted to, like I said, show my progress and of course, like I said, I'll be doing some off camera and let you know how it's going. And also, I am going to uh, show you with the light pad. Like I said, I think that will help greatly. And yeah, so I'm going to just, okay, cover that up so it'll be protected. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Um, I will upload a video, of course, this week and uh, go from there. So thank you so much all for watching. And I hope you have a great day, evening. If you have any comments, just leave them down below. The link for, I will leave the link for the company Victoria's Moon. And if you do order any paintings, I have a 10% discount code that you can use, and I will also leave that down in the link below. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.